Hey everybody, PJ here. Out here making my morning coffee. I just kind of wanted to show something that I come up with for the Whisper Light Universal here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Just this little, this little thing right here. It don't even weigh. I think it's like 0.4 ounces. It's not even a half ounce. But uh. This kind of helps. Let me see if I can sit this down here. I can't get a good angle, I don't think. But I like making my coffee in a, it's a 750 milliliter pot. My main food pot's a 1100 milliliter totes pot. It sits on there fine. I don't have to really have it for that. But if you try to sit now, this is full of coffee and it's hot, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna play around too much with it. But if you notice, I mean, it just barely. I can get it to stay up there, but it would actually only be sitting on two of the stand things and then on the generator tube here. That's what's holding it up. It won't actually sit on all three of these. So, and especially if you're trying to from burning your hands I mean you can't there's no way I'll do that with hot water but with this this thing it sits on there that easy I mean, it finds them little grooves in the steam and it sits now I don't have to be near as careful about sitting that cup down I didn't get out my 450 cup I've got it you can sit it on there I mean, for not even a half ounce, I think it's well worth having if you're going to use this stove. Because, I mean, if you like using a smaller pot, I'll say that because I like using my 750 for coffee. Because I make my coffee straight in that, right there, just like that. Kind of how I made it. See if I can get you up here and show you. But I started off with right at 17 inches of hanging wire. You can get this at about any hardware store. I want to say I paid either five to eight dollar. I can't remember, but it was a big, big roll of it, and it's stout. It's not quite an eighth of an inch thick. It's a little more than a sixteenth though, so somewhere in the thirty-second range. But uh, I started off, and I just made one bin. I took a old handle. And this one's a little over an inch. Let me move that coffee before I end up doing it. But I just kind of stood it up here next to me while I was messing around with the stove. And what I would do is I took this. I bent it around that and then I made another uh, it's going to be hard to see this but I bent it around this and then I went to the next one and I bent it right there just to go for the next one then I'd sit it up on here see how that bend went and where I wanted that bend and I just moved on to the next one now, I kind of twisted it together in a loop before I really got started. I didn't cut off any extra until I knew what I needed, so I only wrapped it a couple of times. Once I got it about where I wanted, then I just took some pliers and I wrapped it a little tighter. Then I took a little hammer and kind of beat it down to where it would be a little more flat. I mean it just sits right right on there and once it finds them grooves it's on there and that way you can just take your stick it right on there you don't have to worry about feeling around because you can see how I don't know if you can or not really how close it is to the edge of the 
main thing and that also gets it up off that generator tube I can't see what I'm doing here so. but hopefully you get the idea though but you can make it any size you want but me I just kind of started bending it around and then I wanted it in here so that it wouldn't be on top of that generator loop there that way no matter which way I turn it if you can see it's not on that generator loop it just kind of goes around it just like that but, but no need to make this video real long I just wanted to kind of show you what I come up with I've seen one that you can actually buy they had one you can look on Amazon and you can find it and I can't remember exactly what it's called it's like some kind of simmering or something but I figured I could make something for it I started off with a little thinner wire and that stove gets so hot it would just bend it like when you put the cup on it it would just bend uh, I had another piece of stainless steel that I used on my other video for my Trangia do-it-yourself stove I made with the fire thing and the Trangia ring and it was just such thin steel as soon as it went on there it just started getting red hot and it would start doing this but this right here that that wire right there hasn't moved it gets a little it gets red hot too but it doesn't move it's a lot more stout but that's it if you like to cook with a little bit of a little smaller pot or just to heat up your coffee and don't have to worry about it falling into the thing if you got like I say like that little 450 mug uh, actually before I go let me go get that and I'll be right back just to show you how easy that little bitty cup sits on here hang on just a second all right I made it back that's the little 450 uh, Tokes titanium cup and it sits right up on my there's no way without that there is no way you would get that to sit on there None. and like I say I wouldn't really be using this small of a cup with this stove I mean as a side cup to my 1100 maybe but this one's so light my 750 I can do a purpose it's like I got two pots so. but that's my favorite but that's it and hope you liked it like I say if you use smaller pots on the whisper light whisper light universal I don't know if it'd work on the whisper light itself because it's got them round pot stands but this one with the grooves works perfect well, that's it y'all have a good one